I'm doing a look this year that I tried last year and ended up hating it. And so I never posted it. And I'm doing it again. Second time's a charm. We'll see. Okay, what is happening? All right, I already have my base face on. I've done a video on that already. I pretty much just start off with this with any look that I do. I try to keep my looks fairly simple and easy to recreate. So yeah, I'm not doing anything too crazy or intense. Just got the base face on. And as you can see by the title of this video, we are trying out unicorn makeup. And this year, I've got a prop. I dug into my kids' Halloween costume bin and I found this. So this will be on at the end. I actually want to start with blush first. I want like a really pink blush. I'm actually going to take these two Hydra Matte colors. These are lip colors. They're cream lip colors. You can use them all over your face. I'm going to use them a lot in this video. So I mix the two of them on my little palette right here and then just dip my brush into it. And I want a pretty bright pink cheek. And I'm gonna take it across the nose area even more than I like normally do. I love that like sun-kissed W technique. I actually do it a lot, but this will be even more. <laughs> and then up on the forehead as well. I'm gonna real quick finish my face with my powders. I always do this very last just to kind of blend everything together. It creates kind of like a filtered effect and just a nice finishing technique. So this is the medium powder and I'm just putting it over top of where I use my bronzer. It boosts the bronzer a bit and then it also, like if you're not the greatest at blending cream products, this helps just kind of like make it look like you're great. So that is nice and blended. And then I'm gonna take Silver Rose Powder, Cool Toned Pink Shimmer. So it's not a ton of color. I don't like using this as just my blush because to build it up to the like intense pigment that you want or need, you have to put a lot on and then it gets really shimmery, but I love it as a blush topper. It just boosts and shimmers and it's great. So this is going all over. It gives me a nice fun little sparkle. I don't have under eye powder on yet. I'm gonna wait until I have done my eyes before I do that. So, cause I might need to use some concealer to clean up and stuff. I'm going to do a wash of Whisper Pink. Cinema Secrets brush cleaner is the best for quick drying, quick cleaning brushes. It's pretty much all I use to clean my eyeshadow brushes. I clean my I like deep clean my face brushes with a more intense brush cleaner, the Cynogen's brush cleaner, but for eyeshadow brushes, the Cinema Secrets is fabulous. All right, I'm just gonna do a light wash of this on my lids and inner corner to brighten that up. I'm really brightening up that inner corner. Okay, why don't I use this color more often? I like, really like it. It's a good one for inner corners. Wow. I'm gonna do just a tiny, like, tiny bit of natural tan up here just to give me a border to work within and so that that uh, whisper pink kind of blends into my skin, but I am going to be using pinks on my eyes. I think I'm going to start with just the chilled pink, the lighter one. When you're working with colors that you're a little bit afraid of, it's always best to start lighter and then like build up the intensity. So that's what I'm doing here, going with chilled pink. I'm pressing it into this crease area, just like barely below where I put the natural tan. I feel like the trick to these Halloween looks too is like you gotta commit. You've gotta have the intense pink. <laughs> You've gotta have like the intense bold like pink eyes when you're going for a unicorn. You want people to know what you 
are or that you're obviously dressed up for something. You don't want it to be like an accidental, is she dressed up or is she not, you know? And with this, there'll be no question. All right, taking that pink again, underneath the eye, the low, like the outer corner under here, and then dragging it up. I want to create a more like lifted shape to my eye. And so also here on this top part, I didn't round it down. I kept it kind of out and I'm creating this triangle lifted shape. And I can see that like, I am taking my blush brush again and I kind of want to bring the blush up just a little bit higher in this area. Just so it's not like a harsh kind of stripe between the two. I'll probably go back and do this again. Maybe I'll use a little bit of concealer to clean that up. Now I'm going to mix the two, the peony pink and chilled pink. These are great lip colors just to have in general and then they make it fun to do Halloween looks too. So you don't have to go out and buy like a ton of new products in order to get festive for Halloween. You can use what you already have or you can buy things that will still serve you even afterwards. All right, I have mixed the two together. I'm using a small pencil brush so I can be more precise with this application and I'm doing this in this outer corner area, outer V. Yeah, I'm glad I went in with that chilled pink first. Back in with the brush that I used for chilled pink and I'm going to use that to kind of blend out these edges. It's coming together, it's kind of tricky with bolder colors like this. And gosh, the camera's not picking it up. Do I need to adjust my lighting? Maybe that's a little better. It's, it's pretty pink on my face. But the trick when doing more intense looks, more bold colored looks like this, whether it's with neutrals or pinks or whatever, is to not judge your look until you've added your liner and your lashes. Like you really want to make sure that you can you finish the look first because it can look a little scary and then it'll all come together. I'm gonna take one of my favorite colors ever. It's one of, it's like I've used it so much that I had to take the stopper out to continue using it. This is Elixir Glitter. It's such a pretty color. And I'm going to take that on the same pencil brush that I just used for that darker pink, pink mixture. And I'm going to press this into this outer corner as well. So kind of layering it over the pink. I don't want to bring it all the way across the lid. I want my inner like lid area. I want that to be really bright and light. I just want to add some purple into this look. So press, 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 press. I actually think I want to keep using this, but I'm going to mix it with a lighter shade to like lighten it up for this inner corner area, this lid area. So I'm mixing it with pink opal shimmer, which I also need to take the stopper out of. It's going to be time to replace a lot of my eyeshadows pretty soon. All right, I'm using a flat brush. I have dipped it in that mixture and let's go in here. Yes. So the pink opal shimmer is just like a very light, light, light pink frosty shade. And then the elixir glitter has some glitter and it. it has like some purple and blue glitters in it. So mixed together, that is such a gorgeous shade. Holy cow. Oh, 
I like want that everywhere. Can you see it on camera? Really good. That is really good. I need to do a little bit of cleaning up. I'm just going to dip a flat brush like this into my light concealer. And then just clean up that edge right there. Taking a small fluffy brush and dipping it into the Silver Rose powder that I have on my cheeks. And I'm just gonna tap that kind of all over this area. I just wanna make sure that the eyes and the cheeks match. And this is also gonna just add some more sparkle. And also, because it's a powder, it kind of just helps to like soften any lines. All right, I need a little highlight. I'm gonna rub my finger into the shadow that I put on my lids, the Pink Opal Shimmer and Elixir Glitter Mixture. And I'm just gonna lightly hit the high points. And bring the blush up just a little. Black eyeshadow, this is the Onyx Cream to Powder Eyeshadow. Cream to Powder is my favorite for doing eyeliner. I've used gel liners in the past and they're great, like you can work with them pretty well, but they're harder to smudge, a little harder to control. And then you've got like your liquid liner, which is gonna be like that crisp look, but you can't smudge it out. Then you've got your actual powders, which are great for like smudgy, but you can't get like super dark and intense, or you can, but it doesn't last nearly as long because it's a powder. A cream to powder eyeshadow will change your life when it comes to eyeliner. Okay, off my soapbox. Take a little brush, smudge it out. It's nice and forgiving for a little bit. And then once it sets, it's set in place and it doesn't budge. This is called Sea Breeze Shimmer. It's turquoise a light turquoise and I already put down that whisper pink on the inner corner too so it's gonna brighten it up All right, little mascara. So this is just my mascara primer. Going to do some black eyeliner in the upper waterline. I'm gonna grab this Whisper Pink on just like a small kind of flat brush. And this is gonna go here in the lower waterline. <laughs> Top lashes are gonna be black, black mascara. I looked on um, Pinterest for like unicorn makeup and some of the more like intense ones have noses, but the more like simple ones, which is kind of where I'm going, just a bunch of pink and glitter on the face, um, do not. So I think I'm gonna leave it 
off. I'm not gonna do a little nose. To tie in the tealish blue, I'm gonna use this Jewel Jade mascara on the bottom lashes. <gasps> it's getting cute. Maybe I do need a little nose. Brush picks for declumping your eyelashes. These are like toothpicks, but they're awesome. They have these little like Combs on the end. And they're really great. I'll do a little boop uh, of sandstone pro or of pink opal shimmer on the tip. And here. Ooh, that's really shiny. All the shine, all the sparkles, all the pink. I love it. Okay, let's put a lip color on. I think I kind of just want to go light, like really pale pink. I wear this color a lot, but I don't normally wear it like full opacity. I normally kind of uh, tap it out. Okay, can you see my little horn? <laughs> it's so cute, I'm so happy with how this turned out. This turned out so much better than last year's attempt at a unicorn makeup, so I hope you guys liked it. I'll list and link everything in the description box below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.